I've been with the club for 15 seasons now, but a fan my whole life. So when we clinched and that drought was over, it was the, the employee in me, it was the child in me coming out that was just like, finally, finally, here we go. Um, so pretty exciting for us in the front office and the entire city. You know, once we uh, beat the Blue Jays, I think the sentiment not only here at the watch parties was, oh my gosh, we're going to host a home game, but you also heard it in the clubhouse in Toronto that they're like, we're going home, Seattle's going to get a game. So just as an entire organization, we are so pumped for it. And, you know, we know that this weekend's going to be pretty special, starting with Saturday. It's the electric factory for a reason. <laughs> so I think from gates open two and a half hours before first pitch, people are just going to be hungry to get in and see this team. So we've got 45,000 rally towels for this sold out crowd to just get the, the crowd pumped. Uh, but before, you know, that first pitch, we've got some, you know, exciting things up our sleeve, whether that's player introductions with pyro accents to Pearl Jam's Mike McCready will be performing the national anthem. And we're dusting off uh, one of our traditions that you typically see on opening day with Make-A-Wish. For over 20 years now, we've been having a youngster uh, go ahead and circle the bases for our ceremonial run around the bases. And so we're extending that into the postseason. Have a little 12-year-old uh, guy from Redmond that'll be uh, coming out and, and doing the honors. So lots of good things that are, are happening for our pregame festivities. You know, we're just gonna feed off of that energy of that crowd. We've got some surprise moments, but we know that this game is different than regular season games. These fans are going to be hanging on every pitch. We saw during the watch parties that every strike got a cheer, every ball got a clap. Uh, so, you know, we're just going to almost take our cues from this team, from those fans, and just bring that electric factory to life. Anything can happen with this team. I don't think any of the other teams that are still in it right now want to face the Seattle Mariners. So at this point, you know, the magic is, is definitely there. And so, my opinion, I'm, I'm an optimist when it comes to Seattle Mariners baseball, so take me all the way and, and I'll believe it. All of us in the front office, there's probably close to 200 that work out of the building here. We're all fans too. And so when it came to these game days, we wanted to celebrate, release that energy that we had. So we took it out onto the, the corner there with our Embrace the Chaos placards, got people honking, cheering, turned up the music and just had our own little party there for 15 minutes. We've done that a couple times and we're actually going to take it on the road on Friday and head to Occidental Square where there's some festivities over there with music and food trucks and you know again we're all fans here in the front office so we're just ex excited as a city to for this playoff run. We're just loving how this city has come to life you know everyone is is so excited this is a new generation is experiencing playoff baseball for the first time. And so to see it happening in classrooms and businesses around the city, we've got Rick Riz is, is raising the flag on top of the Space Needle. We're headed, you know, into our communities to celebrate. It just, you know, that's the power of sports is bringing people together. And right now, this city is coming together around Mariners Baseball. For more local news coverage, live and on demand, watch King 5 Plus. Download free on Roku and Fire TV.